Righto, another windy day out here. I've been waiting in the harbour, waiting for the prime opportunity. It's not going to get up, but getting out here was all right. Got the sea anchor out because I'm drifting pretty hard. I want to use my oil heavy sinker, but we're using this. It's a new sinker by Vexed Fishing. They gave it to me. They said, give this a try. Hey, Dom. Good, good things, mate. Good. Dom, how are you, mate? Oh, a cooler with too. a whole heap of goodies in there, mate. Good the diameter, that one. Nice and slippery. Nice and oh, dull. Yeah. Smashing it on that lemon. Watch again, mate. Watch again. Thanks, Dom. I've already got my rigs already set up. I think it's a bit too light for today's windy condition, but just curious. I've also got some other stuff I wouldn't mind trying, but, but what I have got is a brand new rod. It's a slow pitch jigging rod. Fantastically terrific for, for King George whiting or even whiting when you're drifting. Big sinkers are the way to go. And that's an assassin. This one's uh, called an abyss. So, first drop. King George Whiting is on the menu. Always excited. First drop. In fact, I'll just turn the engine off. So I've got the sea anchor out. That's how windy it is. It might drop down later on, but it's not going to stop me from fishing. Actually, you guys, just look after this rod while I get my other rod ready. All right, good old humble sand whiting. I'll take that, it means I'm in the sandy area. KG is one ten of species, but not a bad little bycatch. I usually throw out a nice squid jig. Now this one here is a Harimitsu 40 gram deep BB tip run. And in these kind of conditions you need it because I'm drifting so fast. You want something heavy to stay close to the bottom so it doesn't sort of come to the surface there's a squid on the bottom in the weed beds and this is the other rod i was talking about so it's a pitch master slow jig you can still use it for calamari no worries at all oh man it is super windy probably can't hear me Whew. what do we got here we got a flatty all right. See if I can use these clips to get rid of him. Nice and safely. Oh, and that rod's taken off too. That timing. One at a time. Bit of boom boom on this one. Well, this feels actually quite, quite decent. Might be a bigger um, flathead. What have we got here? Yeah, so a bit of a bigger flathead. Still not quite the size I'm looking for. Beautiful. My God, flatty central today. This was taken off. What have we got here? A herring. All oh, right. <laughs> A herring or Tommy Roth. Um, I'll let him go. So I'm just changing the sinker. It's just drifting too fast. Even though I did catch a flounder on that one there. There you go, more bites. Or maybe my, my, um, my, oh, no, hang on. My rig was going for the weed. No, no, that's... This might be what we are on about. Oh, yeah. Camera's all on. Yep. Oh, this is awesome. Feels good. See for the water. Can you see that? Holy moly. I can see that. Oh, this is a dangerous time. Bring it up on the boat. Woo! 
That is a Donkey Kong. Oh, they always get me excited. These KGs. And he's a good size, believe it or not. But that there, that's my competition for today. Beautiful. I'm holding on to them pretty tight because I've got a bad reputation of them coming out of my fingers. Measure him up. So he's a good, decent 47 centimeters. They're the kind of KGs I love. Woo! So straight away, that biggest sinker worked. The bad thing is I'm drifting so fast, I want to throw the other line out, but I need to change the bottom hook. It's been bent a few times. Getting a bit lazy, but that is just epic mission accomplished. A friend of mine that goes fishing for KGs on a regular basis, he says, Don, when, it, when the sun comes out of the clouds, that's when the KGs seem to go on the bite. Well, today is pretty sunny. There's a bit of cloud, but I think the rest of the day is going to be all sunny. So I might have sunshine KGs all day. Who knows? The water looks nice and clean. It's dark, it's patchy. Because there's so many white caps, I really can't make out exactly what kind of ground I am in. But go over there, I can see it's sand. In the distance, you can see when you're in close. Just a polarizing effect. It's hard to picture out. So I had a really good bite. Well, I'm just attending to my other rig, trying to tie that last hook. And um, uh, it's no good. There you go. Maybe it's going through weed, which is just awesome. And ideally fish with your rod in your hand. So when you feel that bang, you make sure you set the hooks in. But I'm just too busy, I'm just trying to get the other rig ready and <laughs> check if my cameras are done and <laughs> it's over here. So I'm actually gonna try this actually you already got like a plastic tube on the imitating squid, a bit of frilly bit. Oh, oh hang on. Might have fish on here. Is he? Oh, I think I just lost him. Oh, oh. you won't believe what happened. I was actually hanging the wheelie over, leave myself and bada bing, got a hook up, double. What have we got here? Oh, no, it's a one hoi. Woo! Awesome. Another KG. And he actually went for, oh, that, that one has gone off too. That one's gone off. Oh. A tennis elbow. Oh, that hurts. Oh, another KG. Awesome. And I could see fish on the sounder. Could be a school of KGs right here. Oh, my elbows. Gotta take it easy. Here we go. Oh, no, not one of these. That's a waste of a time. Big Kelpie. Brown spot of rouse. Uh, one hook would do. Alrighty. Another beautiful KG whiting. Whew. Yeah. Exciting stuff. I love this kind of stuff. Oh, now this is KG. This is KG. Or big flatty. Might get my net for this one. It's giving me a lot of curry. See the flash for the water. What is he? Oh, he's a snapper. Oh my god. He's a snapper. How about that? Good on you, mate. And use this. It's like uh, assist double hooks with this sinker. And it's all about reading red. Put a bit of bait on it. And the intended species is King George Whiting. See so how we go. I'm going to put on the lighter outfit. A bit more sporty fun. Alright, so I let more line out in this one. As I'm drifting, getting the other one ready. It's a hookup. 
don't know if it's a kg. Not really fighting much. No, he's not. Oh, hang on. No, he is. Okay. Strange. Whoa. Look how clean it is, too. Browny colour. And he was well hooked. Look at those colours on that. Beautiful fine specimen on that one. Woohoo! All right, well, better down on the floor than bloody overboard. Another bit more action here. Okay, I did expect him to be a big one. It's a flatty. That lead on the bottom is pretty long. Right. I must be sleeping on the job. Bit of a weight. No, it's a flatty. Another one. Right, so this micro bottom meat, it's got a fish. The other one's getting hit too. It's not that grandeur. What have we got here? Butterfish. <laughs> All right, so it does work. <laughs> but not butterfish. Ah, sun. Oh, nice spine. Yeah, that one there is getting hit. I'd say it's butterfish as well. Not really buckling too much. I'll um, deploy the reels KG rig just in case. Just in case. Yeah, no, it's not a KG. Actually, nothing. Alrighty. Right to move again. Oh, double hookup. That's a double link. Yep. Could be KG we're looking for. It's been slow. Well, that one there is definitely going off. What have we got here? No, oh, snappers. Oh my god. It's not what we want. So that's what's on the other rod there, too. Put this on the side here. Die down a bit. Oh my god. Hang on. I'd say it's another snapper because they, they do score up and they fight dirty. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's a, well, he's a good size flatty. It's a good size. He's not too bad. He might big him home. Yeah, no, he's a good size. That thing about the sun being exposed to the KGs, I reckon that's a good theory. Slightly cloudy cover. Still plenty of light, but... I don't know, just uh, it's really die down. That's a nice flatty. Let's get the eyes on this one. Yeah, there's a good flatty. Just measure this guy up. Yeah, 43 centimetre. Good fish. Alright, so I, I had this bite. And I said, what is this? It actually, oh, here we go. Double. Oh my God. This is a big one. And that other rod's going ballistic. Oh, oh my God, look at that through the water. And then in my net, I reckon. Oh, it's a beast. Woo. Without further ado, just gonna look after this guy here. And he could be another beast. Fishing with Mr. Beast. <laughs> Woo! It's giving me curry. I reckon I should have entered that bloody KG competition. I can just see him. There's actually two of them. It's actually two. All right, so I got a snapper and a KG. What a combo. Woo hoo! Yeah, boy. Oh my god, that's just awesome. Got no more room on the boat to walk around. Woo! Here's a big one, this one. Definitely honey hole. Honey hole. And this guy, he went for the that seat, that hook. He swallowed it. There we go. And he actually bent the hook on this one. 
What a hot bite. Hot bite on a windy day. Epic. Look at that fat boy, my God. Oh, it's powerful fish. Powerful fish. Oh, see that? You've got to be careful. This guy's probably gone 50, I hope. Yeah, 53 centimeters. That's a beauty. Again in the ice slurry, and this one's oh, and this one's here off. This one here's off again. Woo! Oh, big eyes come off. I reckon that hook, that hook failed. Oh, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. 48. Right. Let's drop it down again and get some more boom boom action. Heaps of curry today. So I'm going to try out this uh, bling assist hooks, two hooks. Uh, it comes with one of these snap swivels, but it's, it's, you actually meant to snap it onto something else. So I had to tie the line on this one here because if I tied it on that, you could actually untangle and I'd lose a fish. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. And the sea anchor in these conditions is an absolute must. Every now and then, give it a tug. So they actually go over at the same spot. Fish just love it. Stationary bait. Man, I just decided to sit down and hook up straight away. I think it's still on. Yeah, it's definitely on. Oh. Really have to bring him up. And this rod, the slow pitch, that best is, oh, look at that. It's actually running. <laughs> it's actually very good for these kind of fish. I'm trying to keep my rod low, just so you guys can see the flex. I'm actually tangled up. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, whoa, what is he? I think he's, um, oh, he's done a run. Yeah, it's KG. What else is he gonna be? Come on. Oh yeah, it's a good size. Big thumper. So straight away, bada bing. Look at him. He's a fat beast. God. That's what I'm talking about. KG Whiting. Mate, I love it. Woo! Awesome. Gone 53. Bloody beauty. Again, if the bait, I only bought a little bit of bait, you don't need much, but it's this tentacle here, the real sm smooth bit of the squid. It's just nice and soft, but the same size strong. Look, that's got a bit of a tension. Probably going through weed. And it pays to have good hooks too. These won't bend. Just need to change them every now and then. They can get blunt. I'm using the Gamakatsu's. Size four, I think. Four twos. Bloody ripper. Is it fish? That's fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> a lot of boom boom on this one. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a flatty. All oh, right. Bit of over uh, <laughs> over excitement there, but did give me some curry towards the end. It's only because these sinkers I'm using are so damn big. Oh, by the way, if you haven't done so yet, Make sure you hit the subscribe button. That uh, helps you to keep in touch with what I'm doing. I go fishing mostly once a week. I work full time. And uh, yeah, it's from here in Perth, Western Australia. Trying to catch a feed, bring it home, cook it up, nice and simple. 
nothing too blase about that at all. Wind is really starting to pick up. I want to have fun getting back to port. That's right, the extra, the extra tonnage on the fish on board, even out the boat. Woo! Talk about tonnage. Talk about tonnage. <laughs> It's definitely uh, another kg. That line is not done. Yeah, that starts to run down. It's kg, not a huge one. Actually, smallest one I caught today. And he went for the, oh, the assist hooks, which I was talking about. Just when I thought things were really getting quiet. So I don't think it's a KG. Hang on. That should come off, though. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, here's a bit on the small side, this one. A bit on the small side. It's a good, nice little fish, but I'm going to throw him back. I've got some real big, big ones here. Now, the wind is really packing up now. I don't know how long I can stay out here for. It's always that last cast. Here we go. Here we go. I actually let more line out. And that initiated the bite. Put more line out in that one there. Yeah, it's something good. With that KG I'm looking for again. Yeah, it could be KG, he's right at the bottom. He's swimming for it, oh, he's a good size. And there's another one following behind him. I've never seen that before. Woo! Oh, beauty. Yeah, absolutely fish with your rod in your hand and you find him, and he actually had a follower. Never seen that. Maybe if I dropped the line, I would have caught the other one. Can't go wrong with that. Look at that. Oi, 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 oi. All right, all right, all right. Straight in the ice slurry. All right. And I was letting more line out, more line out. Make sure it was always hitting the bottom. And the minute there was a, there was a, uh, a pause in the movement, I think the fish had a chance to actually look at it and target it bite it, swallow it, and hook itself up. And I just read the rules. It's actually 12 King George Whiting I can take. Now I don't want 12, that's a lot. So we are drifting quite fast. You gotta feel that sinker hit the bottom. Let more line out. That's what I did before, let line out, and that's when I had the bite. It's just that pause in movement. The fish had a chance to grab it. The boat, oh, and this one here is off. Yep. So this one here, again, I'll let line out. And if the same theory had a pause, and bada bing, he went for it. So I'll let more line out, that one there. Another good KG. I know he's a KG. Yep. Ooh, what happened there? So he's trying to fight. Give me curry. Oh no. Oh no, he's a KG. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> he came off on the last minute. Now I've got plenty of salad at home. Don't need that. Big fat KG whiting. Best fish I reckon in the ocean. Exciting to catch. The hunt down, it's all about the hunt. 
and the, uh, the adventure. This is Fish Tucker Man at its best. See you home for the cook up. In fact, this cook up might last a couple of days. Woo! Look at those fine specimens. It's big, beautiful King George whiting. Just for this vid. Oh, just want to demonstrate how to do a quick uh, clean up of this fish. Usually I just fillet it and skin it. I'm actually going to leave the skin on. I'm going to leave the skin on the fillet, so I'm going to scale it first. Big fish. Really big. Nice specimen of a King George Whiting. Absolutely delightful to catch these fish. As you can see, the heavens have opened up and it's raining. So I have to be a bit quick on this. Alright, here comes the filleting. I tend to Cut it around here, the in the gill plate, right to the head, and I like to start from the tail. Oops, it's slimy, so you gotta watch yourself; you don't slip. Sharp knife is always the best, and just cut it all along the lateral line, right to the backbone. Make sure you're on the right side of the the, the, the backbone. Alrighty, now what I like to do as well, try and conserve as lot, a lot of flesh as possible and try and carve the flesh away from the rib cage and then curl the knife down to the belly right through all the way down here then I can cut through the skin you can see that fillet I've left minimal bones on here the only bones you're going to see, I'll quickly show you. And there's the fish there, the frame, rib cage. I left a bit here, which wasn't a good idea, but what are you going to do? Yes, yeah, so as I said, just to right here. That's it. Look at that fillet. As I said, I'm going to keep the skin on. That's a big one. And there's flathead fillet. And I'm just going to cook it up really easy. I was going to cook it up in the oven. But I actually like cooking with my hands and seeing it cook. The oven's pretty boring stuff. But <laughs> doesn't matter. A couple of days, no worries. So I'll just sold up the fillets first. And I'm going to cut these fillets in the pieces because they're just too big for the for the fry pan that one there might fit in yeah no, i'll leave that one like that i'm using olive oil and just crank this up so the oil is still pretty cold i'm just going to put this half clove of garlic just to season it up a bit I've got these really big cheese yeah it's a chili in fact, you shouldn't touch titties with your hands. <laughs> right, oh, this is going to be crispy. Get that curl straight away. That wasn't meant to happen. I think that's because the fish is in the, in the fridge. That head over here. So I'm actually going to chuck in some veggies. This is capsicum. Love capsicum. It goes well with seafood. I'm just going to let that cook by itself. 
I don't think I'll even turn it over. Let the skin take the full brunt of that heat. This is great. That, that looks really good. The fish is actually turned white. It's nice and medium rare. See how it's underneath. Yeah, so you've got a nice caramelisation. It won't go crispy. Yeah, that's what we want. Fantastic. Yeah, see that? Beautiful. Crispy skin. King draws wide. As I said, I'm not going to turn this over. That's just how it is. Or maybe just a little bit. <laughs> that just looks awesome. So I'm going to grab a big piece of course. Put that right here. I'm going to grab this small piece here. And put it on top. Gives you the visual effect <laughs> and a few of these capskins. The drizzle of this oil is that as the sauce. There you go. That looks fantastic. All I need now is a fork. Look at this piece right here. That's what I wanted, that char. Even though it's oily still, it's not going to be crispy, crispy. But for the demo, I'm going to get some of this capskin and this fish here. Give this a try. Piece is a bit too big. But. Oh, delicious. Not because I cooked it, but it's because of the fish, which is the species, King George Whiting. Mm. Simple. Salt, pepper, garlic, maybe a bit of chilli, capskin. I'm speechless. See you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe. Give us a comment. I love reading them and I love answering them back. And see you next time. Dom Petite. I'm going to keep going. Yummo. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. The fish, tucker, man.